Yes. Our uh, Jamison Pruitt, Bryce Baxter, and Trenton Carroll. So. <laughs> Hey, we don't get much media, so, you know, we, we, we love every chance we get. So, um, obviously, head coach for many, many years in Monroe County. Billy Joe Murphy steps on, you come back, coach. What, what was it that, that, that you wanted to come back and be the head coach? Well, you know, it's, you, never, you never leave coaching, and uh, that's, that's one thing about it, especially there. I, I stepped away for one year. I've been coaching at Monroe County High School for 25 years. So, uh, you know, I just had a son graduate, and I've got a son that's a sophomore that, uh, you know, that, that's continued to, uh, to play there. But it's just, you know, I love coaching football, but I really love coaching football in Monroe County. You know, I love these kids. They're, they're fantastic. They work hard. And it's, uh, you know, it's the highlight of, of our town, you know, that Friday night is. And it's just it's a, it's a passion that, that, that I have. It's a passion that our, our community has, and it's, it's phenomenal. We, we just, you know, we, we love to get out and work and, and uh, you know, it, it helps these kids prepare for life. So, you know, I love being part of that. And, uh, you know, I, I, Tim McMurtry told me the other day from uh, Metcalf County, the basketball coach, he said, there's one thing worse than coaching, and that's not coaching. So, and that, that's pretty good. And, and I agree with that. So, you know, it's just, uh, it, it's something that uh, I really love. Well, one thing, the first thing that, that you have to do, when, especially when we're in this situation we're in, is your players have to buy into what we're doing. You know, they have to buy into the, hey, we got to get here, we got to get checked, we got to do things the right way. And that's the key. You know, you, you as a coach, you're bought in. But once your kids come in and say, you know, and they're leading, these guys are leaders, they're like, hey, we got to go to step A today, we got to get this done, we got to get our temperatures checked, we got to go through all the, our COVID forms, and, and we do it every single day. You know, we're checking 48 temperatures and, and checking uh, the stuff, and our health department's doing what they're supposed to do. So, uh, you know, it's just a, it's a process, just like getting ready for that Friday night game. It's a process getting through this, and, and we're doing everything that's that's been you know that, that's been put on, up on us to do by the KHSAA, by the health department, you know, by our uh, our state government. And it's just it, you wouldn't do this if you didn't want to play this game, and and that's the key because we and these guys, all three of these guys, lost their spring sport as a junior, so they don't want to lose anything else. And we're going to do everything we can in our power to make sure that these guys get to experience probably one of the greatest things on earth, and that's high school sports. Uh, for the three seniors, how important is it that you all play football this year? Uh, very important. I've been dreaming since about this senior year since, like, flag football days. Very, very important. Yeah, it's about the same with me. This year is real important for me. You know, I want to go play college. So I want to get my name out there, you know what I mean? It's uh, very important to me. Uh, at some, you know, some point, you know, I didn't think I was going to play football this year. And, you know, just get to have a season. Everybody telling us we weren't going to have a season. So when we got that news, we were very excited, and it means a lot to us when we put in work every day to get better. Coach, how many seniors do you have? 16. We have 16 seniors, and uh, – you know, it's uh, it, that, that's our biggest class. So uh, that's that's very important to us that they do get that. Uh, we got 48 on the roster, 16 seniors, and and uh, you know they they've come in every day. I don't think you know maybe one or two's had some some issues where they missed practice, but we hadn't missed it all. And it's just uh, you know the the energy's there, the excitement's there, but the questions are still there. So you know that's that's the that's the part we're trying to uh, to get out. It, it's tough to have 15 through 18 year olds to come to practice to start with. But it's really tough when that uncertainty is there. So. Coach, uh, Monroe County football, from a fan participation, is very passionate. Uh, what's it like uh, in Tompkinsville uh, with the scuttlebutt, with people wanting football? And, and where do you think it's going to go as far as fan participation? Because Friday night in Monroe County, that, that, that's that's correct, and uh, it's it's uh, it's something that's that's I didn't I didn't create I didn't build that it's built on tradition, uh, it's 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 highly built on tradition, and I've already got people texting me and have, what's the capacity going to be, you know how, how many can we get in the stadium, and I'm like well you know 33 percent well I'm going to get there at two o'clock, 
And I'm like, well, you know, <laughs> and that, that I got that yesterday. And I'm like, well, hold on just a minute. Let's let me give you let me give you some more details here in the next week or so. But, you know, it is it's crazy, but it's so fun. You know, it's so fun. And I love that. I love these kids. Just I, I try to keep the pressure off them and let them come and play. Hey, this is something that you're you're going to stand around that campfire 10 years from now and talk about, you know, and that's something I want them to to real to uh, basically get that opportunity, I'll take the, all the, the blame. I'll take the pressure. They'll just put all that on me, and, 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 and we'll have a successful season. But it's, it's crazy there on Friday nights. Coach, to have 16 seniors going into a season like this where it's been so, like you said, there's a lot of kind of unknowns. How has that senior leadership been beneficial to your program? It's, it's, it's funny. And, I, and like I said, I've, I've not been the head coach the last three years, and but I've or four years, I've been assistant for three years under Coach Murphy, who done a phenomenal job uh, at Monroe County. He did great, and, and you know he just wants to pursue some other goals. But it's I feel like these seniors in this crisis right now has led better than probably what I've seen in a long time. I mean, their their energy because they're wanting it a little bit more. They, it's it's almost like something could be stripped from them. So now they're wanting to lead a little bit more. They're wanting to do things the right way a little bit more, and it's uh, it's been great. I mean, it's. Uh, the leadership from not only these three guys, but the other other um, 13 has been amazing. And, and I am, I'm very proud just to be part of, of their senior year. You know, that's a great thing to me. And, and you know, not only loving it, I love to see these guys, you know, prosper in that. That, that leadership is something they'll take with them the rest of their life. It'll make them good fathers one day. Well, I think our team is ready to put a helmet on. <laughs> but as far as ready for week one, we're, we're still a long way away. I mean, we don't even – we haven't had a kid, you know, even close to having contact in, in you know, 12 months or for whatever – or at least eight months from that standpoint. So we've got to get back into – we need routine more than what we're doing. Yeah, we're getting in shape for sure. We're getting in shape. We're doing the, the little things that we need to do as a, as a team. But, man, we need to – we, we need to be touching bags and hitting, popping a sled and stuff like that. And so we're still, we're still a ways away, but everybody else is too. And that's the key. You know, everybody else is, I think the whole coaching fraternity has got on board so well and doing exactly what they need to do to make sure that this season happens. And, uh, you know, that's just another thing, you know, uh, another tribute to how coaches are great leaders. Uh, yeah, I'm a little nervous, you know, I'm, yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just nervous. Uh, I would, I'd rather play in the fall than the spring, but if we have to, then I just want to play. How about y'all? It's, uh, whatever it takes to play football, you know, it's our last year, and if they have to push it back, then that's okay. We'll take it. We'll roll with the punches. We are a flexible team, and we don't care as long as we play football. I'm with him. We got to play. <laughs> Will you be nervous about it? Yeah, I'm nervous about the meeting. I guess one thing that helps these guys out in my team, I'm also the athletic director at Monroe County, so I've got some more insight that I can give them, you know, on a, on a daily and weekly basis. And, and everything's been positive and upbeat for them. And, you know, um, just like anything, going to school, doing anything, uh, a lot of questions that's been asked here in the last months the response is, I don't know. And I think that's coming from everybody. Nobody really knows. And all we can do is, is what everybody in this room is doing. You know, you're wearing masks, you're, you're staying away from each other and doing the right things. And, and, and hopefully that, that we can, uh, the 20th, we say, hey, we're going to try this. And that's all we can do. Yeah, well, our, uh, our KHS region rep is uh, from Logan County in the fourth region, Mr. Greg Howard. So he's constantly going and meeting with the Board of Controls. He's on the Board of Controls. And, uh, you know, he does a fantastic job not only representing the fourth region but the third region. And uh, he keeps us in, in the loop of what he's supposed to keep us in. And, and 
you know, his representation is fantastic for us. And, uh, you know, he fights for the coaches and the, and the pr programs to be played. So, um, you know, that's, that's what we're looking forward to. So, and, and again, you know, we don't know. We're just coming in and just, we're just doing the grind. We're just going and doing it. You know, if it's, if they give us six hours, we're taking advantage of those six. If they give us seven and a half, we're taking advantage of that. You know, um, we're just trying to do what, what everybody allows us to do. Thanks, Doug. Hey, and one last thing. Oh yeah. Why, <laughs> is because y'all, you guys need somebody better than Brad Hood to to uh, to ask questions to. Okay, it's time to get some real knowledge back in this in this game. Okay. Thanks, guys.